Swindler got away with $25,000. The police pursued him and to escape, he decided to hide in an abandoned building. Days later, the swindler's body was found, but his head and the money were not. The protagonist of this game decides to visit the abandoned building and find the money. But why though? Hello everyone, this is Rin from Super Cat Punch, and welcome to Night People. Found my people. <laughs> oh, money, okay. Well, I guess we're done. Um, this was a nice game. Thank you for coming, and I hope I made you smile today. <laughs> but yes, we are trying to, I guess, collect all the money because... I thought there was a purse standing on the window there. I like... I like the sounds already. You have like the buzzing of this electrical light up here. You have a nice ambient drone, like in the background. The footsteps are weighty and give you that nice echo, which makes sense because there's like nothing on the walls here, so it would very much echo. So apparently we are escaping from an evil family. So do we have like a flashlight? Oh, I like that sound. That's the sound of me trying to open the door. It sounded like footsteps in the dark, which, um... Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Attention! Information is requested on any family member of the Bender family. They live in abandoned places and have only been seen at night. It is known that they have formed a cult called the Night People where they practice cannibalism witchcraft and satanism all right um there's gotta be like a flashlight or something can i <laughs> just carry this bulb around because that would work i don't know why my mind uh, took a minute to latch onto that before i realized that wouldn't work i assume he does not want to leave because he's already here but um, while we're wandering around, hopefully, to find- Why would you come here without a flashlight in the first place? Did he just come here hoping to find one? Hey. Are you eyeballs or just lights? We may never know. I'm sure we'll actually find out. So it's fine. Oh, what? Wait, no, you're not just gonna casually throw this at me and have nothing happen with it, right? You don't just throw me a- <laughs> A guy on the body of a dog. I'm assuming this is the head. Um, alright, I guess we're just not gonna do anything with that. That makes, um, perfect sense. There's the flashlight. So I'm gonna have a theory. I think we're gonna pick up this flashlight. And the dog head guy is going to- the Human- Head dog is going to disappear. <laughs> I've played too many horror games. <laughs> Got him. I'm sorry. Ah, woo! So it appears I can't really run. Also, that was really loud. Yeah, there's no way for me to run, apparently. All this, this flashlight is not very effective. Oh! It got a little bigger! Wow! Okay, now we got a big puppy. Yeah, this flashlight doesn't do, like, anything. <laughs> it's a very weak flashlight. Oh, hey! What do you got? Oh, they're all dead! Oh! Oh, they're all dead! <laughs> I was like, wow, I found another living hu- Nope, they're not- they're not living. Okay. Why would you see this and take the money? Why would you come here at all? Um, well, now is an excellent time to go over today's comment pottery, I guess, which is like the lottery but with paws. Um, where we take a comment from one of last week's videos we consider our life choices up to this point, and, uh, we read the comment here. I think we have to go to that hallway where we saw the, um... the two... glowing orbs. I, I can't remember where that was, but it might connect there. I think I'm gonna read this and then something's gonna be behind me. Yeah, 
a person associated with the Bender family has been arrested. Also, to get the dog to be quiet, I just kind of walked backwards a little bit. Nothing happened. It, it, it just stopped. It is believed that he was a member of the Night People cult. During the interrogation, the individual mentioned a series of absurd events, such as having seen members of the Bender family transform into dogs. But uh, yes, on Liminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminiminimini
In general, it's not my go-to genre, so I, I haven't really played that much in recent years aside from Langris or Mobile. Because unless they're really good, um, I burn out on them pretty quickly. Like, Langris or Mobile is really good, but I, I burned out on it pretty quick. <laughs> So the dogs left me alone for some reason. Am I gonna make it out of this house? Absolutely not. <laughs> what other strategy games have I played recently? Um, I did try the newer Fire Emblems. I mean, Fire Emblem... I still can't run. It's... Fire Emblem is always good. But I think the turns they've been taking recently... Um... I can't remember which game it was, but like with the tea party things where you get to like pet people? <laughs> I don't know, that was a little weird for me. I liked the old bond system where you, you know, put them in tiles next to each other or whatever, and they would build the story and then you could like pair them off and like choose your favorite stories and stuff. I thought that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Because some of them have like these really nice stories, like they had been you know, raised together, and you could see them grow together, or you could go a completely different route with a different character and figure out their their stories together. Hey. Yeah, I'm assuming this was the last guy that tried to steal. This is not one of the family. And did we actually get out? Did he actually get the money and leave? I, I guess he did. Was it worth it? No, I don't think it was, sir, because uh, I believe they are probably going to follow you um, relentlessly, and uh, it's not going to be a very fun time for you. So, um, I hope that works out for you. Um, don't go into abandoned places, especially if you see uh, questionable markings. Um, just don't do this kind of thing. <laughs> It's dangerous. You could find other humans in abandoned places, which is typically not a good thing. Um, you don't know what you can find there. Don't go to abandoned places. Don't go to creepy places at night. Please protect yourself. Stay safe. Um, <laughs> but that being said, I loved the sound design in this game. I loved that it built on the music and gave you that sense of urgency. I really enjoyed that. I haven't seen a game do that in a little while, especially an indie game. Um, this was great. I liked it a lot. And uh, the, the dog head thing was pretty <laughs> pretty cool to show us right off the bat. I think that that was the one that tried to steal last time. And it didn't work out well for him. They were they were really hinting there at the end that we were going to get caught and shoved in that cage with that guy as another dog head, but apparently we escaped, which was an ending I was not expecting, so good job on that as well. Um, well, let me know what you thought about it, and I hope I made you smile today, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye!